Hey friends out there in YouTube land, this is Robert Ham once again coming at you with just another kind of what's in my bag. Today I'm doing a portrait session photo booth at a local school for a uh, graduation. It goes up to sixth grade, so definitely elementary school. I want to show you some of the types of gear that you take with you in order to make that a successful day. And uh, we'll start off with the uh, the rigging stuff. So a tripod, this is a sun pack tripod with a pivoting ball head and a quick release plate. and. Um, works really nicely. Whenever you have to set up a photo booth, if you can keep your camera pretty much central, um, that's going to help quite a bit and then just move the subject around. You really want to have all that planned out as best as possible. Also, in the rigging, I consider my seat because I'm going to have these guys sitting on a seat for the smaller ones so that they'll be up tall enough and I'm going to have them standing for the taller ones, you know, the sixth graders. And the idea is that there's a nice black backdrop uh, that's got a slight shimmery material. It's a 5x7 backdrop. It's a Westcott X-Drop backdrop. Um, then I've got <clears throat> another <clears throat> just uh, backdrop stand that is going to be positioned in front of it and out of the picture uh, in order to give me the bar like rigging to go across the top so that I can hang uh, a nice sign that says 2016 and some little sparkly graduate uh, kind of stars and caps and gowns. So this is a, a dimensional backdrop in the fact that we've got a backdrop here and then we've got some things that hang here and then we've got our subject here and then the camera will be here so we're going to get a nice depth of field in these photos. So in order to do that I need of course additional rigging and that one's just a Lima Studio uh, 10 foot backdrop kit. You know the ones we're talking about. <clears throat> and so that's pretty simple. Continuing on, we already talked about the uh, the X drop, but the little X drop kit itself is is really nice. Um, you know, I'm not going to bother opening that up to show you. You can go find that out. Uh, we're also going to use this is it. Hey guys, for portraits, the Westcott um, Perfect Pair, the Halo and the Apollo. These are excellent uh, lights. You got a 36 inch umbrella and a 24 inch octabox um, soft box with the stands and everything and the baffling uh it's really <laughs> I'm telling you that's the way to go my lighting setup is going to be a three-point lighting setup where i'm using uh, the the halo and the apollo to uh, the halo to light the face the apollo to light some rim and a little bit of the background and then i'm going to use an additional flash on the background um in order to just kind of put some up lighting on that black background. I'm going to use a red gel so it'll have just a little a nice little lit effect and I've, I've tried all these out so it's uh, it's going to look really really good. Uh, of course the, octo the, the soft box is going to be about face level pointing down in the in the um, umbrella. You know umbrellas spread light everywhere so that's going to be kind of to the side and anyways that doesn't matter so much I'm just kind of telling you what I'm going to use. Uh, for that I'm using Four Y and 560 Series 4 speed lights. Well, three speed lights in this case, and then uh, just the transmitter. Uh, I like that quite a bit. Um, I'm using my XT1 Fuji with the battery grip. Uh, it's all in here. I don't need to take it out, but you know what an XT1 looks like. I'm actually going to be using the um, the 18 to 55 f2.8 to 4. Uh, for this particular setup. I thought about taking my 85 uh, 1.4 problem is Distance, you know, I don't have that much distance and I want to I'm trying to create I'm trying to capture I want to capture the sign that's 2016 congratulations 2016 2016 and that's about five feet tall uh, Maybe maybe four and a half feet tall. So I need I can't have a real um telephoto lens. I need a wider lens in order to be able to get in there and actually get the subject. So the actual, the kids will be standing next to 2016 and it'll, it'll, it's nice and big and I'll just position them forwards or backwards in order to give the proper perspective for them and it, it'll look really great. Um, and then this big old thing over here, this has lots of stuff in it. In fact, here's an example. This is the six for the 2016 and it's pretty big. Um, in order to print this stuff off, I'm actually, I'm not gonna pull it out, but I'm using the DNP S80. And uh, I'm shooting using an iFi card tethered wirelessly to my um, Surface Pro 4 back there. And that's gonna do all the processing. The DNP S80, I'm doing 
two different print sizes all on one sheet. So I'm doing an 8x10 and I'm doing two 5x7s. Of course the DNP naturally will print an 8x10, so a 5x7 will also go on um, uh, on the same, well almost on the same thing. I might do a 6x8s. Actually that's what I'm going to do. One 8x10 or um, two 4x8s or something like that. In, anywhere in there. I'll look at that uh, just to get it. But those are my print sizes and uh, these are the little folders to give out the the prints in and um, paper, got to have your paper, <laughs> lots of it. And uh, of course, if you're rolling into a paid event like this and you don't have some way to take a mobile payment, um, it's a problem <laughs> because people aren't going to have cash, they're going to want to pay you with credit. Uh, and so of course I'm using PayPal and uh, to make all that stuff happen for me. So that's what we've got today, just a real quick video. I hope that you enjoyed. Sign off in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Once again, I'm Robert Ham with Robert Ham Photography. Catch me on Twitter at Rob Ham Photo. You can find me on both Facebook and YouTube at forward slash Robert Ham Photography. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down. But no matter what you do, comment down below and uh, we'll check you later. Take care, guys.